Yeah, everybody, get over here, listen up. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Sunday Fun Day with the Capital Canines. Thank you so much for coming out today. Um, Capital Canines is a nonprofit organization that supports the Madison Police Department Canine Unit. Many people are very surprised to learn that um, the Canine Unit is not supported by the city, it's supported by this nonprofit organization. So essentially everything except the officer's salaries is paid by our nonprofit. So as much as you can give today, we really appreciate it. We really rely on fundraisers like this to keep the Canine Unit going strong. Um, a special thank you to our supporting sponsors today. Our supporting sponsors are Michael Best and Friedrich, Woohoo! Um, that's my employer, um, as well as Memorial Pet Services. Thank you so much. A special thanks to DJ Aaron J here. He is volunteering his time for free, playing these sweet jams for us. I appreciate really? all three of you who clap. <laughs> he will also be playing some sweet tunes at Dog Paddle, which is coming up. Mark your calendar for September 8th. We will be at Goodman Pool, where all the dogs can come and swim. The humans will be out of the pool. Dogs will be in. Um, we're also looking for volunteers for dog paddles, so if you're able, please volunteer. We need a lot of people to come help us with these pups in the pool. Um, if you haven't checked out our vendor booth sponsors, they're over here at the patio area. We have Hills Pet Nutrition, Steph Higgins, who has a very cool um, art booth over there. Sit and sit dog training. If you're familiar with and come to this um, Wisconsin Breeding Company a lot, you may know Porter, the resident dog. Porter was trained by Sit and Sit, so clearly they know what they're doing because that dog is the best behaved one year old lab I've ever seen in my life. Um, we also have Out You Go here as well. Our first aid sponsor, VCA, Veterinary Emergency Service and Veterinary Specialty Center. Long name. See how long that is? I've had trouble with it all day. <laughs> They are offering $5 nail trimming, so if your dog is here, they probably need a trim. So send your dog over there. You don't have to do it by yourself at home. Um, special thanks to our food vendors as well. They are going to be donating 15% of their proceeds today to Capital Canine, so I hope you all brought your appetite. Go over there and eat. Their food is delicious. Um, we also have our Brewers Raffle today at 3 p.m., so there's still time to buy tickets. Head to any of our booths and we can direct you to where you can find those. But what you've all really been waiting for here is our demonstration by the officers here and the dogs. Um, and actually before that, we do have a couple dog sponsored parents here is what I'll call them. If you go to the radar run, $5, see how fast your dog can go. Um, Archie's sponsor will be over there so you can ask them about you know, why they're contributing to the Capital Canines and why they're interested in it. Or you can talk to Laura Harrington, she's Allied Sponsors. Laura, can you say hello? Say hi, Laura. Hi. Laura is Allied Sponsor, and if you want to chit-chat with her, she'd be happy to talk with you about why she's interested in canines and why she sponsors the dog. We really rely on all of the sponsors. They give and give and give, and we really appreciate it. But I'm going to hand it over to Mike Alvarez, and he's going to talk about the unit here. Thank you. Everybody having a good time? Good. We're going to do a little demonstration with uh, what these dogs can do. If I can talk to you guys into coming off of the cement, we're going to see how fast these dogs can run at some point. But um, I'm lucky enough to be the sergeant for the canine unit. We have seven canine handlers. One uh, just recently retired. Six are dual purpose. They do patrol and narcotics. And one is an EOD dog. But um, we're very thankful to you all for coming out. Again, as Holly said, we're completely funded by donations and by Capital Canine. The only thing that the city pays for is the salaries for the officers. So all the cars, which can be very expensive with the packages in them, the slips, all of the equipment that the canine handlers use, food is donated um, by, the, by these great companies that donate food to us. All of this comes from donations so that we can help uh, keep the city safer. And some of the things these dogs can do in terms of their ability to smell things, their scent, their, their ability to track um, is, is pretty awe-inspiring. So to talk about that a little bit, i got Sarah Baseflug and Caline Calco, Canine Falco. And they're going to come, come up and I'll let Sarah talk a little bit about how good Falco's nose is. Falco's nose is so good. Uh, this is Canine Falco. I'm Sarah. I've been with the unit for about two and a half years now. 
Falco has been here for much longer than I have. He came in 2012. He had a handler prior to me um, who moved on from the department. So because of his age and the financial, um, I guess, responsibility that we have to him and Capital Canine and also just all of the time and effort that went into him, we three owned, three handled him and he's with me now. He lives with me 100% of the time. He comes with me to work then. We work the night shift, 8 to 3.30. So if you're ever out and about, at those hours, you might see us. I hope not. Um, but so Falco is a dual purpose patrol dog, meaning that he looks for people and he looks for narcotics. Um, his tracking abilities, I think we, we were going to talk about a little bit. Uh, our whole unit is sense specific, meaning that if I took this little girl's baby bottle that she's sipping and she walked off from here, I could give that odor or that sippy cup to Falco, ask him to essentially take scent from that, and he would track through this whole crowd of people and negate all of your odors and look for her. So our unit has had a lot of success recently. We've been finding a lot of people on tracks. Um, we have a handler, Karen Corcoran, who is, that's kind of her baby. She's fostered that with us, and we've taken this unit to places that we never would have gotten otherwise without some of her work. Um, Falco also looks for drugs, and that's what we've set out some narcotics aids today, and we've been keeping a close eye on them. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, the chief does not appreciate when narcotics walk off, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so I am going to do a little demonstration. What you'll see from K9 Falco when he's in order, essentially, is that he will bracket an area and almost work himself from a, a larger area down to a smaller area. His nose should, if he's doing his job, go right to source, and then he should sit. And he should focus on source, and I should be able to walk away from that, and he should stay with it for me. So that's his trained final response for narcotics. Um, we'll give it a shot. And you guys, if anybody wants to shout out when you think that Falco has found his narcotic, go ahead and shout it out. I noticed he was sniffing me. I was going to get worried. Oh, don't bring him up here. You can see Sarah's kind of directing the dog to him what areas generally to sniff. Falco's checking it out. Woo! Come on! Give him a big hand. Big hand for Falco. Nice job, Falco. I seriously got nervous. <laughs> Woo! That was a close one. And you can see this is finding the finding dope and finding people. It's a big game for the dogs, so they get a big treat, and it's lots of fun. He, he thinks he's uh, pretty hot stuff now, so. Let's give uh, Sarah and Falco one more big hand. <laughs> and then we'll have Nick Isle and K9 Patton come up and help us out. So like I said, we have seven handlers right now. And uh, the first handler is Karen Corcoran. She couldn't be here today. She's got K9 Slim. And K9 Slim is a narcotics and patrol dog donated by Capital Canines. They raise the funds for it. Then we have Nick Isle, who we have here, and Nick Isle has K9 Patton. And Patton is also a narcotics and patrol dog donated by the Midwest Family Broadcasting. Uh, Eric Dish, who we'll meet in a little bit, he's got uh, K9 Bowie, who is a narcotics and patrol and uh, was donated by the Burby Walsh Foundation. Jason Baumgart, who couldn't be here, has K9 Allied. And uh, he was donated by Laura Herring, uh, Harrington, I'm sorry, who's here today. Sarah Baseflug, who we just met, had Falco, and uh, Falco was donated by Anna Mart. Emily House, who is also around. There's Emily. She's got Canine Archie, our newest dog. And he was donated by Dwayne and Wendy Reckel, who are right here with us today. Thanks so much for coming. And then Terry Lose has our EOD dog, and that's Canine Carl, who is... Um, an explosive detection dog donated by Mary Morton. Each of these handlers come from a lengthy background, very successful patrol background. They're, it's a highly competitive process to, to become a handler. Uh, Emily, for example, came from the gang unit. Terry Lowe also has time in the gang unit. He was also a, a SWAT operator and started one of the canine units in Columbia County. Iowa was a SWAT operator at one point. Um, Dish comes from lengthy patrol. 
Baumgart as well, and Sarah Basefoot too. Um, so we're, we're very happy to have this group. I'm very lucky to be the sergeant for it. And one of the best things that these dogs do is they catch criminals, and that's one of the biggest things. Dispatch to 1142. 1142, go ahead. 1142, attempt to locate a subject wanted for armed robbery at Wisconsin Brewery Company at 1079 American Way. The subject is Eric Dish. He was last seen wearing black and orange sleeve, long sleeve shirt, and goofy looking owl pants. Copy? 1142, I copy. Anybody see somebody like that? A nefarious looking dude, looks like he's huddling maybe. Black and orange and looking just just evil, like he's sneaking around, trying to hide maybe. Anybody point him out to us? We're having trouble here. Help the cops for a day. Oh, I think we got somebody. Somebody's helping us out. Nick, you want to take care of that guy? Hey, Eric, I need to talk to you. Can you come over here? Come over here. I've got some show. I need you to cooperate. Yeah. I need you to I can't. Get over here. Show me your hands. I'm going to sit down. Oh, okay. Get out of the way. I'll sit down. Get out of the way. Show me your hands. I'm going to sit down. Oh, oh, give him a big cheer when he gets home. Hey, nice job, Betty. Good job. Get the bag guy. All right, here we go, Keystone Cops on the match. <laughs> so this is a great example of what our canines can do. If we have criminals running from us, they're much faster. You need to give yourself up. <laughs> so Dish has a nice suit on, keeps him very comfortable. Doesn't hurt. He pretends to be hurting, and the dog gets all excited. You can see his tail wagging. He thinks it's a big game, so he's all excited. So Dish has a, has a suit on, we call it a bite suit. Dish is doing one of the key things that we do um, as the canine handlers and helpers, it's called decoying. So this teaches the dogs how to catch people. You notice when the dog caught him, he kind of grabbed onto him. He didn't grab and fight a whole bunch of times. He just grabbed on one time. Basically the dog is grabbing people instead of like biting and trying to harm him. He's grabbing, hanging on, kind of like catching a tug. So one of the one of the big things that they do, those dogs, they catch criminals. We just had one the other night at the Mallards. We had a armed burglar in the in the Mallards building, ran from officers uh, Basin and uh, Officer Dish, who just saw in the suit getting bit. Um, and when he ran, the dog was able to catch up to him and, and grab him. And it keeps officers safe because we don't have to go up and approach somebody who is potentially armed, as as was the case in this. So it's one of the one of the great things they do. So I mentioned all the handlers. I can't uh, stop without mentioning Jim Donald here. He is a recently retired handler. He just retired Cronny after how many years of handling, Jim? How many years? 15? 15, 16 years? So we all hope to get to that point someday. So if you see him around, shake his hand. He's, he's doing solid work. Our officers are outstanding. Let's give them a big round of applause for the work they do. It is incredibly challenging. We're very lucky to have them able and willing to do this job. And thank you so much for coming out today and doing the donating for this incredible organization, Capital Canines. Thanks. Have a good time the rest of the day. And let's keep the applause going for me. As the dispatcher, I watch a lot of live TV, so I think I have some good research. You guys, thank you so much for coming out today and supporting Capital Canines. We are at Wisconsin Brewing Company, like I need to tell you that. They've got great beer here. They've got great merchandise inside. They've got great vendors over there. We've got great food trucks. It's a great day. Thank you for coming out. Sunday fun day.